that's the ejector immediately in front of the bolt stop. And the way that works is as the bolt is retracted, the locking lug on the left side of the bolt, assuming we're using a right-handed action, right, uh, cams the ejector into engagement with the case head. It's completely passive. That's just a hardened steel part on the pin. There's no spring driving it. There's no nothing to get, you know, it's not like a small pin in the bore that you know, gets stuck or corrode. This is, you know, positively driven by the motion of the bolt, which is a part that's, you know, two or three orders of magnitude larger. So, uh, probably two, maybe not three. <laughs> but, uh, and then here, looking at it from this, this direction, you can see as the bolt comes back, here, here don't stand in the light. Here, get, can you get that? So as the bolt comes back, right, you can see the extractor emanate from the, si the face of the bolt. Again, a completely passive system. Uh, that was a contribution Mal uh, not, uh, Springfield made when they copied the Mauser back in 1903, whatever it was. Um, that's the one feature I think Springfield actually improved upon was uh, that, that completely passive ejection system, whereas the Mauser and most other uh, systems use a spring of some sort. Uh, I think fewer parts is, you know, so long as you can maintain functionality, you know, fewer parts is better. And like I tell a lot of young engineers, good engineers do more with less. So uh, definitely the drive is towards simplicity.